Hi there, in my last video when I machined the cylinders um, and experienced that sort of drill run out I got some fantastic sort of suggestions in terms of you know how to um, sort of avoid that and uh, I think Richard Boucher sort of summed it up really and he, he sort of detailed a, a really good method, a, a tried and trusted method of making sure that the uh, you know drilling a long hole uh, how to avoid run out so it's worth looking at uh, uh, Richard's comment aka Dick and um, I also got loads of comments in terms of how to sort of um, you know resolve that particular issue of where it's broken out of the uh, side of the fins and uh, a lot of people suggested actually milling out those sides uh, the bottom three fins which apparently looks a bit more similar to a, a Harley Davidson so I think that's something I'm going to do uh, but I think I need to uh, pluck up some courage uh, in order to do it <laughs> um, but anyway in this video what I'm going to be doing is machining the pistons for this uh, little hoglet engine okay so when I machined the cylinder I gave it an internal diameter of 1.004 of an inch and that was to match a Viton o-ring a BS020 which has got an outside diameter of uh, 1.004 and it's got a section of 70 thou so for the piston I'm going to cut a groove for the o-ring to be 80 thou wide and 80 thou deep so fingers crossed it'll work out okay and the actual piston diameter is going to be 1.002 of an inch now if this Viton o-ring is a little bit on the small side I could always go for a Viton BS117 which has got an outside diameter of 1.005 of an inch and it's got a bigger section so I'd have to remachine the groove to accommodate that but uh, it's just a bit of an insurance policy Point zero zero two. Happy with that. So I'm just going to mark the top of this piston with this parting tool. So this parting tool is uh, 62 thou wide so uh, I moved the carriage that way by 62 thou um, then uh, I've moved it again that way by um, an eighth of an inch and now what I need to do is to uh, start cutting the groove so it needs to be uh, 80 thou deep. Okay, so it, now it needs to be 80 thou wide, so obviously this is uh, 62 thou wide, so I need to move the carriage this way by another 18 thou and cut again to um, 80 thou depth. But I'll do that bit off camera. So I've just centre drilled the end, and uh, now I'm going to uh, use the 6mm drill bit and I'm going to go to a depth of 0.8 of an inch.
a 10mm drill bit to a depth of 0.375 and now just opening the end up with a boring bar Well they seem to turn out okay, so what I need to do now is go over to the mill and uh, machine some of this area out here and then drill a hole through the side for the uh, wrist pin. Okay so before uh, drilling the hole for the wrist pin in the piston I just need to make sure that the vice top is parallel with the uh, table. pretty good. Okay, so I'll centre drill off camera and then I'll uh, drill and ream. I think it's a quarter of an inch hole. So I've got some parallels in here and uh, I've set the uh, uh, DRO to zero just before it breaks out at the bottom and that's when I'll just remove the parallels and uh, complete the cut. So what I've done is uh, I've put this rod through the piston and made sure it's parallel with the vice. I just eyeballed it but it's pretty much spot on I think. Then I used an edge finder to find the centre and as a double check I'm going to use this coaxial indicator. So the coax um, suggest it's slightly out so I'm going to um, rely on the coax as opposed to the edge finder I think that's as close as I can get it so that actually reads that uh, I was out, out by 3 thou on the x-axis and 1 thou on the y-axis. Okay so by positioning the uh, milling cutter on this edge here and then 
on the inside. I've measured that distance to be 0.362 of an inch. Now in the drawing states it should be 0.375 so I've not machined it very accurately in the lathe. But anyway, what I need to do is machine out from, from this top edge here down to a depth of 0.8. So with it already being 0.362 machined out, I take 0.362 off 0.8 and I get 0.438. So I need to um, cut down to 0.438 initially. Okay, so one thing I didn't mention is this is a 3 8 of an inch uh, slot drill and uh, the uh, width of this groove needs to be 0.625 of an inch. Now I've obviously already drilled a width of 0.375 so if I take uh, 0.375 off 0.625 and then divide that by 2 I get 0.125 so I've moved the Y axis that way by 0.125 and I'm going to repeat exactly the same process and drill to a depth of uh, 0.438 then once I've done that I'm going to move the table this way uh, by uh, 0.125 twice and then drill again to the same depth um, and then uh, it needs to be um, a thou more each side so a little bit of fiddling around machining but uh, I'll do it all off camera well, I've come across a slight problem in the fact that um, this piston won't fit onto the little end because the drawing shows um, these corners to be at right angles. Obviously I've got a curve on them. So I'm going to have to put it back in the mill and use um, a small end mill just to get rid of that radius there on all other corners. It's very fiddly so I'll do it off camera then I'll get back to you. Well on the second piston I decided to take a, a different approach to cutting this recess. What I did was I used a 3mm uh, slot drill and uh, I worked out the coordinates for the corners uh, to be uh, 0.129 and 0.2535 uh, of an inch and uh, obviously positives and negatives accordingly. So what I what I did was um, I used this three millimeter slot drill and plunge cut the corners down uh, just over four hundred thou, and then having done that, I sort of went down each of the sides plunge cutting, and uh, then I just tidied it up by going round. Uh, I got definitely a better result. Well, I've put the rings on, and uh, quick. Crude test of compression. That's good. Oops. Happy with that. Well, I thought those pistons would be right old doddle, uh, but cutting the, that recess out in the back was uh, really difficult, I found. Um, but I got there in the end, and uh, I think my next video I'll be covering the uh, cylinder head, which should be exciting. Uh, but anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you later. Mm -hmm.